Okay, so how to start this video off. Uh, I've been meaning to make this for about a week or so. I guess I've just been in shock for the last week. Um, just my mental health has been going through a lot over the past year. I wanted to make a quick update about it, you know. Uh, I lost friendships last year. I dealt with a horrible job at Speedway. And then, you know, recently uh, I dealt with bullying and, and mistreatment at McDonald's. And luckily I'm getting a new job as well. But, you know, I'll probably make a separate video about that. But, you know. And then more recently my grandma had a stroke, I guess. And she's in the hospital. She's doing better now. And, uh... But on the 28th of February, a uh, really good childhood friend of mine passed away. He was uh, murdered by whatever chick he was seeing at the time. Apparently he went over to her place and she stabbed him with his own knife. And uh, I just, I'm still trying to process it. And, uh... Didn't really hit me, you know, until uh, yesterday, because I had been trying desperately to to see him one last time, you know, because uh, they had a showing, you know, they had not really a funeral, but I wanted to see him for a showing, which was Friday, and uh, they just never, I I couldn't get a ride because I don't have a car or anything, so like I just didn't have a way there, and. Uh, and you know, what hurts is I've, I've known this dude since I was five years old. And I'll be 30 in June. He just turned 30 in January. And, uh, you know, lifelong childhood friends. And last time we talked, we kind of had a falling out. You know, he was, he turned out to be a Trump supporter, but that's neither here nor there. We disagreed on it, but I never let that come in between us. And then he was proposing to some girl, and he invited us to this beach party, and we didn't have reliable transportation, so I told him we couldn't make it. And he decided to cut off communication. I heard he was in a dark place recently, and I just wish that I had reached out to him. You know, I never got to reconcile, you know? And growing up, I was always there, you know, protecting him. And I, I feel like I failed him, you know. And it just... I just don't know how I'm supposed to deal with that or process that, you know. People are like, you just need to get over it. You just don't get over this stuff, you know. And so, uh, if anyone knew, you know, my friend Jacob, Jacob Ratcliffe, you know, just... Uh, like Alex or any of the old gang, you know, hit me up and just, uh, you know, maybe we can do a video sharing stories and stuff, you know. I plan on doing more updates, sharing some stories about Jacob and stuff, you know. It's just been rough because it's like every day I've been having breakdowns and I haven't escaped a day without breaking into tears or hearing something, you know, or thinking about him in some way, so, you know, I'm just trying to stay strong each day at a time, you know, but, uh, yeah, I think that's really, uh, it for this video, though, but, thank you for watching.